an action-packed episode of TV Western. We're excited, and so is she. And TV Western starts now. Sun's down, the crowd is coming over me. Front row, breaking down security. The encore is a cover of the Beach Boys. A phone rings, a song stops. It brings me down to earth. I'm just a patio rock star. On my five-string guitar. I'm just a patio rock star. Waving at the passing cars I'm just a patio rock star I open for your favorite CD Interested in French culture? Looking for a night of entertainment? Then you're in luck, because French theater group Theater London presents Jupiter en Famille, a French play about love, laughter, and the Roman gods. I had the opportunity to sit down with director Mario Longtin to learn more about this fascinating play. Play about the gods, but um, the gods shown in their reality of today and actually set in Quebec, which actually makes a, a very funny uh, kind of distance between how great the gods are and actually how um, kind of day-to-day um, uh, -day the routine is. So you have these great figures becoming more and more kind of mundane and just like you and me, actually wanting to have uh, interaction with people, to have sex, obviously, because there's a lot of, a lot of it. It's kind of a spring fever kind of a place. So it's about it. You know, there's no much of a great plot. It's kind of small plots, one after the other. So. And behind any play, there's obviously a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. Could you just walk us through what has to be done to make this play a success? Okay, this one is actually very unusual because it's a creation. Because it's my colleague Jean Leclerc that actually had uh, written it. So first, he, uh, it was kind of a commission because I wanted him to write it. And he actually agreed to do it. And so there was a lot of rewriting. So we sat down and discussed it. And after it, the, the text was kind of stable, we presented it to the, uh, to the actors and we read it through. And uh, then usually I cast after I heard them read uh, the text. And after that, we actually spend about three to four months, even six, to actually work on the play uh, itself. So every Friday for three hours, we actually go through the play. And what's unique about this play is that it was written, scored, and directed by yourself locally. Uh -huh. yeah. And what is the importance of doing this play locally? Um, for me, it's really, really important. Actually, um, I find that a lot of people crave to uh, crave theater, full stop, but also French theater. Um, and people say that, you know, I don't speak French. And I say, that's not a test. You know, come and enjoy the, the play. I go and see Italian plays, Spanish plays, German plays, and just come because there are students and prof that are in it and they're having fun. And usually after 15 minutes, people are laughing like crazy, even the ones that thought that they wouldn't have fun because they can't speak French. And I find that most of the people that come to our play in the arts project in, in downtown, which we can actually come back to because for me it's very important um, is that basically um, the experience is um, a, a very very uh, kind of liberating one you know it's um, they don't think about the French they just come and they want to hear French not necessarily because they understand it uh, fully, but at one point in their life they had classes in French or they wanted to go to France or they've been to France or Quebec or Belgium or Senegal and they, they say, wow, I would like to be in the kind of uh, same atmosphere. And that's what the, the, the kind of people that are coming to see us. So did you say it's very important to expose not just the Western community, but the London community to this French culture? Exactly. Um, I find that it's a nice bridge uh, between the university and the city. Um, I live downtown. I live in Old East, actually, one east of Adelaide. And uh, I'm really involved with my community. And I find that they give it back to you, you know. And, and I think the, an awful lot of people forget that the university needs to give a bit to the city for the city to feel that, you know, there is some kind of friendship between the two. And uh, they don't know what we do 
and we don't know what they do. So when we do that, when we actually go downtown or we go within the city, it just shows that we want the interaction. And um, it's, it's actually really fun. After every play, people come and talk to me, usually in English, uh, <laughs> saying, it's great, I don't speak French, but I enjoyed it so much, and I just saw it, and I love theater, and uh, so I came. And some people have been coming for five years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. And with opening night rapidly approaching on March 30th, yeah. are you guys ready? Are you nervous? Uh, we are ready. Yeah, <laughs> um, we are nervous. Yeah, but that's normal. Every year I'm the same. I'm always saying, oh, God, I need another month. Um, but it, it's ready. It's ready. Things are actually gelling and people are really starting to feel the role properly and having fun. And that's my main goal. I want the people in the audience to have fun, but I really want the people on stage to have fun. So we laugh like crazy. You should see that. So we need to stop every time. Said, we can't stop. We need to run it. So it's, just keep it in. <laughs> and what are you most looking forward to with releasing this play to the public? Um, you know, one of the things that is the most, the strangest, is that when you do a creation, when it's the first time you do it, you don't know how people will actually react. You really don't. So I'm really looking forward to see how they react, because I laughed through it, because I was part of the, you know, the whole process. So you, you just, for, for once, we will be in the position of saying, okay, that's how it's perceived, that's how they react. So that's my main, uh, that's what is making me the, the, the most, not anxious, but what I'm looking forward the most. And uh, for those looking forward to coming and see the show and actually wanting to purchase tickets, how would they go about doing okay. that? Um, the French department is actually selling the tickets. So um, it's in UC, it's 138, so University College, 138. You just pass by and say, I would like a ticket, what is available? And, uh, and you know, it's, it's very easy. So between 8.30 and 4.00. And we also take uh, reservation, um, so you can actually send us an email. Um, so um, my email is m-l-o-n-g-t-i-n at uwo.ca. So it's very easy, and, and then we can actually reserve some ticket. But the easiest way is really to come to the, the, uh, the secretary's office and to buy a ticket. And what is very important to say uh, to people is that there's only 100 uh, seats in that small theater oh, wow. so it's really really close to the actors so you you laugh with them um, but the downside of it is that you need to really buy your ticket in advance because sometimes I, I needed to push people away mm -hmm. uh, there's some seats the, n the next day and the, the two days after but that night is full so don't be stuck like that because I don't like it. <laughs> Sometimes I add uh, I add seats on the side when that happens, but it's illegal. It's illegal, so don't do that. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much for your oh, time. You're welcome. Yeah. It was uh, pleasant. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, Jupiter en Famille will be playing from March 30th to April 2nd, and tickets can be purchased in the French Department office, room 138B and the University College building. And remember, whether you're English speaking or French speaking, everyone can enjoy the play. Reporting for TV Western, I'm Christine Clark.